Back again, it's a brand new oh, show. Oh, thrill and thrills. Show. Well, you're looking very nice today. I see you've got a little flower in your hair. Yeah, that's, that's my official poppy, you know. It's, uh... What's that? I said that balloon dancing, you felt a lot better, eh? I bet Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it brought me out of the closet, let's put it that way. You've been living in a closet? Well, yeah. with the money I make around here, that's the only rent I can afford. Yeah, I don't know what your contract's like, but I do pretty well. I'm a big star. You know, yeah, sure. You, can't you, you Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Well, Mickey, he's big. He's the biggest, eh? Hey, Mickey and I, we go back a long way. Yeah, I mean, all right, Matt. He's a star. Ooh, all right, Matt. Big. Shut up, Matt. Anyway, Andy, Andy, the real, the point of the matter is, I was getting some feedback, some static from some of our viewers. That our show, we didn't, we wasn't, the humor wasn't intelligent enough. We yeah. were highbrow. I told you that a few weeks ago. Everybody on this show is stupid. What can I say? No, they're not they're stupid. No, no, no. Anyway, anyway, I met this gentleman, Mr. Puppet, here outside of the studio the other day. Yes, Mr. Puppet. This guy here? Yes. He's he looks like a puppet. He's got a block head. No, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He agreed to come on to the show to help us give it a little more intellectual humor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Yeah, he's no, this guy's a bozo. Well, he, I don't know about that, Andy, but I just thought he, I like him. He's a nice guy. He's a very good guy. No, oh, he's, he's a good guy. He's I told you, he's a guy. bozo. He's not a good bozo, he's a bad bozo. A bad bozo? I, I've seen those guys around, and no. they're all lumpheads. What can I say? Well, hey, I'll tell you, the only bozo I like, yeah, I've seen their show. The only guy I like is that guy, uh, Mo, Mo Ped there. He's, he's a real hot well, guy. I don't know. I can't say anything about that at all. That's a sadistic uh, jerk face there. Yeah, he stinks. He stinks. Well, anyway, well, he's, he's going to be here. He's going to help us out. He's going to watch the show. He's going to tell us what's going he's on. He's going to watch it. He's going to watch our show with us. He's, he's stepping in on our show. Well, what's wrong with that, Andy? Ah, jeez, this guy doesn't know nothing anyway. Jeez, hey, oh. Well, we're going to have lots of good stuff tonight. I promise you, we're going to have lots of good stuff. Uh, hey, what's that? Hey, jeez, God, get out of here. Yeah, Andy, 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 don't, don't leave. Uh, Andy, Andy. 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 No, no, don't go away like that. Andy, Andy, Andy. Well, uh, enough of those assholes. Guess what's going on tonight? It's going to be the biker show. Starring the bad bozo. It's going to be the bad bozo show. The show you've all been waiting to see. And I'm addressing this to all you bikers watching this show down those bars down Richmond Road. Maybe on a giant screen. Or maybe up in Carling. This is our show. Puppets running it. Now, here's our first show now. This is the... Good looking guy in the middle is me. Hi, I'm Sherry. And we're the bad bozos. Hi, Mom. Yeah, 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 hot dog, hot dog. 
It's about time you got that mold. Oh, oh, oh. You're ready for the unveiling of the new colors. No, no, no. New colors? New colors? No, we got new colors? Right. Oh, God. Okay. Is this a new color? Mm. Yeah. Okay. It looks like a blanket. Great. Why do I see them? I don't see any new colors. Okay. commitments and that makes me mad because he owes me money. I haven't been making enough to meet my commitments and that makes me even more mad. Sorry. Anyhow, I'm going to give you people one more chance to have some of the best food that you ever ate. During our arthropod pizza family days, we got an all-you-can-eat special down here at the Emporium for just nineteen ninety-nine. Bring your cousin, bring your aunt, <laughs> And pick out on some of our tasty new menu items. Stuff like our delicious new chef's cockroach salad, beetle and bologna subs, hamburgers uh, with our secret new silverfish sauce, or barbecue bee's knees. Why, we got hornets and hot sauce, spaghetti and maggot sauce. Mm -mm. And if you're not too hungry and just want a sandwich, try our all new earwig and egg salad sandwiches. Mm, boy, these mouth watering. So get your butts down here now. 
Because if you go... Well, 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 I got the money. I got the money. Is the bike paid off yet? What are you doing, boy? Can't you see I'm busy? What? Give me that money. Well, don't you ever well, interrupt well, me like no, that again. No, no, no. Well, the bike will be paid off when hell freezes over. Well, you still owe me that thousand dollars. Yeah, you get out there and you'll make for what? Make me some money, guys. Get off. God, I'll pay you a Yeah, hell. Oh. Hi, Security Dave here at Cooking and Fishing, Fishing Hole Lodge Kitchen. Now, that's the lodge, not large. It is the large kitchen, but it's the lodge's kitchen. I got a good friend of mine that I met uh, back at the UK, uh, Hillary Housewife Brown. Hi, Hillary. Hello, Jersey David. It's nice to see you. Good. What's, what's cooking? Well, I came over to show a few tips as you did to, with mine. Oh, yes. That was my, uh, my famous, uh, uh, Haggis stuffed with trout, and I must say it was a devil of time getting that trout into the haggis, but uh, it turned out well. So what are you, what are you, what, what are you going to do for us today? Well, speaking of devilish times, we're going to speak about deviled eggs. Oh yeah, we got some eggs right here. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. that's why they call them deviled eggs because you have a devil of a time getting the shell off the egg. Now I'm going to show you just how to do it properly. And very easily, I must add. It's going to turn these deviled eggs into godly eggs. Well, first show us why it's a devilish sort of a time. Why, well, why because it's, it's time. so hard to pick this little... You see, you have a hard time picking the shell off the egg. Oh, yeah. yeah and, you know, yeah. a bit of it stays, I must say. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll take the egg and you smash it against the board or anywhere. You see, anywhere. You could smash it anywhere. On your head. And you yeah. roll it. Like that in your hand. Look at how quick and easy the whole thing comes off in one oh, little piece. You see? Goodness. That's yeah. crazy. That's now, isn't crazy. that much simpler? Okay, so, uh, and we're going to call it, this is deviled eggs. Yes, and we could also change the name to godly eggs because it's so god easy now to do it. Oh, yes. Very heavenly. Very heavenly. Yes. Okay. Heavenly eggs. We can okay. call it so, that. So, I, so I'm going to try that then, okay? Okay. Now, wait a minute, David. Yeah. Uh, before you do that, are you sure that that egg is hard-boiled? Well, gee, I don't know. It looks... Well, looks, look. Here we have a... A smashed egg. But they get look, one that looks the same. Here's one that looks the same. All right. We'll try okay. that one. Now, what yeah. you do for the second tip, and you must do this before you stop throwing your eggs around is you take it and you give it a good spin now if it spins quickly like that yeah. you know that it's just hard boiled okay. and it's okay to smash against okay. it because you wouldn't want to make a mess okay. now for instance this is a not boiled egg not boiled so you see it doesn't spin at all oh that's a good all right. trick I like so, that one okay David okay, so now I'm going to make my uh, heavenly eggs right? try to get so the you egg. grab it like this eh? Right? <laughs> yes. That's not happening. You've got to break it. I can break it against anything, right? Yes, you can smash it and do whatever you want with it. Jesus, not smash it. <laughs> oh, my Dude. gosh, David. Well, listen, I tell you, i got a hint for you. <laughs> All right. If you haven't run into this predicament, you see, I, I haven't got the right kind of taps here, but uh, I can pretend now. You got your hands all covered up with this goo, right? Yes. And so the closest one is the hot water tap. So you always reach for the closest one, right? Right. But that's the normal because when you turn the hot water tap on, you end up with uh, hot water coming out and you burn your hands. So then you got to reach for the cold one and you get it on both of them. So what you got to do is you got to get the cold water tap first. Then you rinse the stuff off and most of it's off. Then you can turn on the hot and get your soap and all that. Well, that's, that's a good hint. That's a great tip. That's good. fantastic. Good. Do you think you would mind if I took that one back to, to Europe with me? Not at all. I think uh, the people over there would uh, need a helpful hint on how to get the mess off their hands. So, oh, uh, that's just speaking wonderful. Speaking of taking it back, I, I think your plane's about ready to take off. So, yes, uh, I'll have to hurry. Thanks for coming. In. Oh, it was nice being here with you, Dirty David. And I hope you can come over to my show soon. Yeah, and, and I hope you come back with more helpful hints. Oh, please. I will. Thanks very much. Good, good. Oh, God. <laughs> that was good. I watched this one. <laughs> well, what are we doing, Jerry? Huh? We're out of money again. It looks like it's time to take back the bottle. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, they hit me. Well, I ain't going to take a bottle back. Oh, we can play. 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 Oh, 
Pino del Fiore. God damn funny, you know. It's just about a little whip there. You know, one of these days, I'm going to kill him. I'm just going to lie in base and I'm going to hit him so hard I'm going to kill him. You know, when I first came to this country, I was so lonely. Thought I'd never make any friends. Well, I was right. I didn't make any friends. But I did find a mate. Coffee mate. He's got all the things I love from down under. Like coconut oil, palm oil, hydrogenated koala oil, palm kernel oil, and hydrogenated coconut oil. So when you're lonely, get a mate. Coffee mate. And don't forget, it's now available in new economy size too. Good morning and welcome to Culture Corner. I'm Edith Dish. This morning, continuing the series on the wives of the famous, the movers and the shakers, my guest this morning is Mrs. Wilhelmina McPhil, wife and confidant of Dirty Dave McPhil, fisherman and chef of great renown. Good morning, Mrs. McPhil. Um, how are you today? I'm just fine, thank you. And thank you for inviting me. Uh, you're welcome. Your husband is famous uh, around the Ottawa region uh, for and on TV breakfast for his uh, fishing and cooking. Uh, do you participate in any of his activities? Well, a bit of fishing, yes, I like fishing, but he goes a bit too often, so I don't always go. And cooking, no, he doesn't like my cooking. I so see, so you're, you're waiter deep or hip waiter deep into fishing with him? Occasionally, yes, not all the time. I see. Yeah. Uh, earlier on in our series, we interviewed Mrs. Uh, Reagan, and she told us that she was always giving her husband advice on political matters. Do you also give your husband advice on fishing matters? Uh, I give him advice on almost everything. I but see. He doesn't always take heed to it, but um, he knows more f about fishing, though, than I do, so... I see. So you give him advice on cooking, such as the uh, wonderful tuna casserole recipe? No, no. He doesn't eat tuna anymore. But um, he doesn't need um, any recipes. He makes them all up in his head, and uh, they're pretty good. I see. So he wings it. He's an innovator. He's a chef. Right. Okay. Thank you for uh, speaking with us this morning, Mrs. McSelf. Ladies and gentlemen, a rare cultural treat. The National Balloon Orchestra of Albania performing the fugue for brightly colored balloons in the key of B-flat by the famous composer Anton Idol, adapted from a lovely Albanian folk song. With the baton is guest conductor Matt Tu Idol, great-grandson of the composer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I know you all know me, Matt Idol, but I'm here tonight with a special treat for you. I'm here with the National Albanian Balloon Orchestra. Please, a big hand, a big, a big hand. This is their first trip to North America, and tonight they're going to be giving us a rendition of the Ab Albanian National Anthem. Gentlemen, please, flip me your balloon. This is wonderful, a cultural event. I'm glad you were here to see this. Thank you very much.
ever wonder what happened to the 60s? Where are all of those psychedelic, burnt-out hippie freaks who once grazed the lawns of all our parks and campuses? What if society had adopted values of those love-seeking, dope-abusing, freewheeling freaks? Would there be anything left for their children to rebel against? Their parents, perhaps? Let's see on the new generation. Wish. 
Well, you know, I'm getting kind of thirsty here. Why don't you give me a beer? Oh, boy, a beer. I want fast beer. Let's say with friends. Is that all right? What's your second wish? Mm. Well, you know, some guys are always beating me up, you know, in the bozos. I'm getting sick of it. I wish I had somebody to beat up like that. Could you do that? Sure. Okay. Oh. Uh. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Mo, Mo Ted. Who? Oh, oh, you're a Mo? No, I'm, I'm a bad bozo. You're a bad bozo? What's yeah. that? Oh, we're one of the best motorcycle clubs in the city. Is that right? Yeah, you want to be a bozo too? Yeah, I want to join. I want to join. Oh, yeah. okay, you can join the bozo, but oh, you're at the bottom of the initiation. Hey, turn it down, I'm down. Oh, no, 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 no,